Oh. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey Amen. It's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And look, man, I got some new 2K news and a very interesting 2K concept to go over. So make sure y'all watch this full video. But before we get into the video, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. It's free. Hit the like button. It's free. Help your girl. And turn on them post notice, man. I'm gonna be covering all the news, all the best builds, jump shots, dribble moves, hilarious gameplay, all that, man. So anywho, let's get into it, man. So this article was posted yesterday, man. 2K says it will announce an exciting new franchise this month, right? 2K is planning to announce a new franchise later this month. So later this month, apparently, a new franchise is supposed to be introduced, man. Might be a GamesCon. But besides that, during Monday's earning call, they say, Take Two also said it had delayed the launch of two of its immersive core titles to later in the current year than originally planned. Okay, so you know, people were sending me this, you know, I had a couple in here. Is 2K gonna be bro? Listen, listen, listen. 2K is not gonna I don't I don't think it's gonna be delayed. There's no way. There's no way. There's y'all let me know if y'all know what 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 uh titles they're gonna delay. But I don't, bro, 2K, for 2K is way too money hungry when it comes to 2K. Nah, take 2-2, two, two, but, you know, but 2K, like, NBA 2K, them niggas is, you know, they, they know they can get over on us. There ain't no competition, my nigga. You know, they are going to release on time. They've released products half-ass every time the games come out. I mean, you know always broken in the beginning this is a normal thing bro so i don't know man i think y'all could feel pretty safe in uh 2k not being delayed I, but what the fuck do i know i'm not one of these you know and yeah man but besides that man i wanted to go over this video that gv made about 2k man i thought it was very interesting you know i never heard anyone bring that well actually i have i mean i brought that up hella years ago but it's just so unrealistic but it's such a simplistic idea that it was in ps2 games man Battlefield portal to go alongside their new game so battlefield recent announced a battlefield portal to go alongside their new game battlefield 2042 and then is y'all niggas getting battlefield man in the portal you can take maps guns vehicles etc from the old battlefield games or the new one and pretty much mix and match them into your own server and customize everything as that's crazy man shout out to battlefield man as far as like domination point capture sizes grenade throw speeds everything's customizable you pick it all make your own server and other players can play it and it got me thinking what if 2k did yeah, something man. similar in nba 2k park <laughs> look <laughs> bro the 2K community would love that. The tournaments, all the content we can make out that shit. Man. Portal, where you could take the park stages, events, the gameplay mechanics, the build systems, the sliders, the badges, all from these old 2Ks. That would that would be absolutely miraculous, my boy. But let, 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 let's keep listening. Mix and match them how you want and make your own servers for others to play. So imagine maybe you want the the skyscraper from River City. So look, man. First of all, I want I want to say this, man. I used to play a game. It's my all-time favorite game ever. SOCOM, bro. SOCOM three, SOCOM combined assault. It was on PS two, one of the first online like games and like highest skill gap game ever. I loved that game. I was on game battles. I was ranked number one because of that game when they first introduced the system that shit was out hella long ago and it basically had this bro where you could make servers your own little custom lobbies a bunch of games have custom lobbies basically it don't have to be as in depth as he's saying like with the parks and shit but that that would be dope you know but you know 
you could bring 2K to a whole new level, man. Like, you could have the normal, like, 2K that y'all have out there. And then for the tryhards and shit, you could have, like, little custom lobbies and different sliders. So people don't really got to complain about your fucking game. You know, Call of Duty, for instance, they, they just be playing in custom lobbies, just scrimming and all that shit. They got the 2K League. They got... Like, you know, but that that's more like preset, but you know, it, it'll make the game way more fun, man. Like, no matter what, when, when, when they come out with the game, just the fact that you could go play custom lobbies and not have to play pubs and shit, like if you're that type of player, would bring a whole new element to the game, man. And, it, and you know, bring a whole new competitive side, you know, you can ban post scores, you ain't gotta deal with it, you know, you don't, it it'll make so many people play way more and all this shit because they don't have to deal with certain shit like a lot of people they they get tired of that shit tired of playing the fucking dribble glitch the fucking um post scores the old school stretch bigs just all this shit if we could bro 2k can do this okay this is an old type of feature man do you I really think this would be an amazing idea. You can make it fucking no screens and shit. Like, make no brick wall. Like, ISO lobbies and shit. That shit would be lit as fuck. Or only center lobbies. And, you know, like, people can only come in there with centers. Or only lockdowns. Or only fucking short players. And, you know, um, five sevens only. And shit like that, bro. So much. Like, imagine five seven onlys right and like everyone's just a midget and you like make videos off that like i went to go verse this nigga i got three five sevens on my team he got three five sevens and we fucking playing and like and then you could bro like fucking five seven glad i don't fucking know like bro like it's limitless and then like he's saying like you could bring old gameplay builds and shit from like old games and you know, have that type of system. I, I, that would really be grand. Bring back the old NBA 2K20 little fucking uh, play lock that niggas loved. Make like a paint system, a contest, a contest system. You know, or just have like certain ratings and you know, make your own lobby, bro. I don't know. I think it would be amazing and make 2K way more enjoyable, man. To me personally on 2k16 but you want the 2k17 build system with the 2k20 gameplay mechanic but you recognize the post hooks in 2k20 are extremely broken so you take those out completely similar to how in battlefield you could take out their function that would be fire server so that'd now you be have a pretty competitive take out prone nigga you take out the dribble glitch you know mike wang a shitty ass developer so i don't think he'd be able to take that bitch out none of them hoes server but you want only greens to go in so no whites go want in. only greens to go in that would be fire that would be fire tell me that wouldn't be fire you know like come on man maybe you take out some of the badges like ankle breaker or like fading like not it can't like you know it can't you know like it can't just like make all that op shit but um ankle breaker he talking about showtime stuff like that that makes it less showtime showtime has completely ruined nba 2k21 let, let me know if y'all agree man like to be honest dude it, it it really has bro because this has to be the easiest year to or let me not say easiest this has to be the hardest year to guard the guard with, with the screens. Like, you literally have to double him. And because of that shit, because, like, the defense is so bad, it's not even just about the speed glitch. It's about this is the easiest year to crab, too. And, like, it's hard to, like, there's, like, an aura, my nigga, like, around, like, the dribbler. And it's, like, it's harder to guard him, like, I'm not talking about just like normal bots. I'm talking about like the like the compy niggas. It's it's never been this hard to like guard a guard, to be honest, man. And um, I think that really has to do with the defense. Like it's like the perimeter defense is pretty bad. But this nigga Mike Wang, like like bro, it's so bad, right? So you have to double. That gives the center a free dunk, my nigga, right? And guess what? Now he invented a badge called Showtime, right? 
and it boosts their fucking takeover fucking crazy. So basically, when you playing comp niggas and you gotta like double the nigga, bro, they gonna end up with fucking team takeover like hella quick. And like, what the fuck? Like, first of all, takeover not even like a competitive feature. It's hella annoying, especially in the wrong hands. So now everybody get takeover off rip on like you like having to double the nigga because the game's so broken. Being able to take out Showtime would be dope as fuck, man. I know a lot of like wagers they do shit like that, but like that that'll be dope because they don't they don't fix their own game, you know? Competitive. Now you have a really refined competitive server that others can come in and play. Oh god. Or maybe you want to make a server where everyone's having a good time. You use the 2K15 oh kind of build and gameplay style, but maybe you want to put it on the 2K20 basketball gods. Uh, man, I, I I I I hate I hate when niggas say that 2K15 all arcade and shit, man. When they ain't play 2K15, I don't know, man. That that that, that should be bothering me, my boy. Cause look, man, two. 2k15 all that shit y'all see on youtube and all that shit y'all hear bro bro it was only like that after patch 4 my nigga the demigods after patch 4 and people in 16 went back to 15 to get those clips just like in old 2k's you know you go back like that's what people did during the game cycle bro the demigods that shit didn't exist man and during the cycle like then the demigods was only like in some parts of the stage like it was never in the park until like 16 like came out and shit but you know you you couldn't hit shots it had a great contest system i bro 18 19 and all these other 2ks bro they're way more arcadey and, and unrealistic than fucking 15 bro fuck out of here man I, i'm telling you bro like y'all had to be there i'm trying to tell you Besides like that crossover 16 shit and whatever else, which wasn't even spammed in park, which y'all niggas play, it's like, bro, like it just needed a few things and it perfect fucking 2K. The dribbling system was fucking amazing. The parks look beautiful. The gameplay was fire. It just it just needed a little bit and perfect but rather with these other 2ks fucking just beyond fucking just it's just it's a utter fucking disgrace my nigga when compared bro you know there weren't no stretch bigs a contest system like that man the easiest shoe in 2ks was 18 and 19 easily and like yeah man i i don't know man is it is it is there anyone out there that's watching this video when y'all hear people slander 15 that it just bothers you it just irks you a little man i hate it man i, I hate it so bad man server park you want to put it on those courts so now you got these arcade kind of gameplay mechanics on the basketball god courts maybe you lower the gameplay sliders down to pro difficulty hey you can pick your own course that shit lit access to all the different badges now people can come in here just have a good time yeah, everyone's man. super fast can shoot dunk the ball dribble yeah can man do everything it'll be just a really fun server the possibilities would be endless, endless if the player base had access to all this to kind of mix and match make their own servers oh and god to release this portal alongside 2k22 2k23 2k24 there would be so much content for the player base to play y'all think 2k would ever do this because other a lot of other games have this y'all think they would ever do this it's how games like go competitive and there's like viewer viewership in it you know i don't know i doubt it bro i ain't gonna hold you bro y'all let me know your percents down below in the comments man so much content for content creators to make on youtube or streams and 2k would be hands off because the community would be making it all themselves so 2k doesn't have to put in that much work but when the game starts to get kind of boring in the summer players can resort to this portal and just have an absolute blast if 2k did something like this and then all the wagers people do people wouldn't have to fucking worry about you know oh they they fucking everyone trying to get the game versus the niggas wagers could happen way faster you know like wagers are now like a big part of the community man um like the stage is already a big part and like the viewership that they get it's always been a big part um in in like 2k but now like 
with the wagers you you know it it enhances the experience and it keeps it more like people ain't gonna go cold and you know the whole tide changing because it take forever to, for people to play you know and just so many different things man like then more youtubers would be more willing to play because they ain't gonna have to deal with that bullshit and it, it'll be a no, more normalized thing man I, I i think that'd be dope easily hands down the best basketball game experience in the industry oh god anywho man make sure y'all subscribe if you know hit that like button man go check out my latest gameplay video on my russell westbrook build it is absolutely hilarious my boy and turn on them noties but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.